M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. I'm here with M6LSJ who has just pointed out to me the R Finder on air live dashboard. So on the right here, you can see my R Finder B1 radio. So if we go to on the left to the dashboard, you'll see at the top, it's showing the users, and this is for R Finder users. On the, le on the left here, and then going across the top, we've got R Finder B1, the B1 Plus, the R Finder M6, R Finder P10 and P7 and so on. So the model of the radio is at the top. Now it's it's in America now it's the middle of the night. So there'll be more activity later because R Finder is very popular in the USA. So anyway, looking here. And if we look at the information we're getting, we've got the call signs of the stations. We've also got them using DMROIP and their normal the radio part of the R Finder system because within the R Finder system you have a built-in link to all the talk groups called DMROIP so you do not need a hotspot you also do not need a code plug because everything is stored on your on your radio and within the cloud so everything's there once you enter a channel you can just go to it you've also got the worldwide repeater database so when you tap on the B1 here, WWRD, you get all these repeaters show up on screen and you can just select the one you want and it will switch to switch for you automatically. Let's just quickly do that. So it's going to tap a random one and then click set parameters and it's going to set the radio up for me. So I don't need to go into my code plug and start learning how to program a code plug, which can be very confusing with DMR. And this is why you get the R Finder type radio. Or agree to those messages and you can see now it's switched across now and we're on that talk group and so if we look at the uh, the dashboard again we'll just scroll down I'll put the links in the description for the dashboard and for the R finder site here and this is the one to go to it's moving across and you've got the new W6 model that's been released as well now no M6 my apologies M6 model uh, but obviously the, the you've got the tablets which which is the P10 and the P7 and then the R Finder B1 and B1 Plus that has USB-C charging. So looking here it's actually showing the frequency that we're on, whether we're using DMR or IP or using uh, just like I said a normal frequency, the type of radio, ETC. And we'll scroll down quickly at the pamphlet from R Finder see some of the products they've got that really nice charger there which i've got here which is excellent and not expensive you know 55 dollars and you get this charger look at one two three four five six eight items plus you can put your phone on top and it will charge that there's the p10 tablet there scrolling down uh, and i uh, just looking at this info so please uh check it out there is a map where you can find yourself as well. I've noticed that also the R Finder system is actually integrate, integrated with um, RT systems, uh, just like the repeater book is. So check that out. And Bob showed me once how that all works. And it will even track you, uh, which is ex excellent, you know, like a bit like APRS. And there is an APRS system built into this. Uh, also, you've got, yeah, you've got your. Uh, so I think they call it the R Finder, the R Finder network. So and then other R Finders can communicate with you. They can see exactly where you are just by tapping on the R Finder network and then a couple of short links here. And remember satellite mode. Let's go and have a quick look at that. Tap the screen, tap satellites. Uh, and then you've got all your satellites coming through there. Let's tap one like so. And look, I've got one coming near me actually. How many minutes is that? If I tap it, wow, how cool is that? You know, that's satellite mode. So thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Big thanks to R Finder. Catch you on air, all the best.